What's, What's up, up guys? guys? And welcome back to Kelly Cross and Explores and today we're exploring Broadwater Mansion. Jenny Evie. Um, we're just going to go check out this mansion. Uh, it was given to me by a friend called Ben. So Ben, thank you very much for this pin. And yeah, this is the clip of what happened um, to the mansion. So I'll let you take a look at this and we'll see when we're there. On Saturday the 19th of September 2015 at about 4.30pm, Broadwater House Farm broke out into a blazing fire on the top floor attic bedroom. West Sussex Fire and Rescue Service reported the roof space was 70% damage, whilst the ground floor was 50% damage. Firefighters took nearly four hours to stop the blaze spreading. Firefighters had to use water from a nearby pond and the swimming pool to battle the flames at the property. After this incident, eight people have been made homeless. This property was a shared accommodation and the house was split up room by room and rented out. After this incident, the landlord was asked to give a statement but decided not to give one. It was said the owner went bankrupt and the house was due to be repossessed around the same time as the fire. According to Resources Online, planning permission was granted to demolish the main building and the three structures to build four new houses between 1.4 million and 1.7 million. But looking further into this information, it seems as if this was planned for the land beside the building and there's no actual further plans for the Broadwater Mansion itself. All right, guys, so we just arrived at this property um, and it is actually a lot bigger than I thought. I've seen the video of the fire, which you would have seen by now, but just going to squeeze through this gate. Look at the size of this. There's actually cars on the driveway. I don't know what type they are. I think it's a, is that a Mondeo? Let's have a look. Oh, there we are. A flare. Ooh. Okay, it's completely smashed out. I've, I don't think I've ever found a car on the driveway like this. Whoa. Somebody's obviously gone to town on that. Look, they've literally smashed out all the back of it. That's crazy. But yeah, so that's the first main building we're exploring. And just over the back, under those bushes, are another two properties. So it's actually quite a big, almost like an abandoned estate, really. Got a Ford Focus here. 1.6. And they've really, yet again, gone to town on it. Smashed it completely. And from impact, I'm thinking that would have been something that's fallen off the roof from the fire or somebody's throwing something at it pretty hard. Not 100% sure, but there's inside the back of the car. Look, even the shards as well. Look at that. You're gonna take it for a spin, Aisha? Yeah, it's in mint condition. It's fantastic. <laughs> I might take this for a little spin. Look at that. Oh, she's beautiful. That is so precious. I don't even know what style that is. That's like, what? Is that 90s, 80s? It's very old fashioned. And there's a double garage there, but I don't think there's much in it. I think it's pretty much just full of tires. I have been told this house is full of, like literally kitted. So it's full of toys and bits. So I think I'm just gonna go straight in and see what we can find. Right, so I'm gonna head in this side door. And the smell, already the smell hits you quite, quite hard to be fair. There's loads of bills and letters. Ooh, look at that staircase. Wow, that's pretty. Um, I think I'm going to start, just start on the right, so got a bathroom in here, gin and tonic up there, smash basin, the bathroom's obviously in absolute state. Oh wow, this is, I think this is a living room, more than likely. Yeah, again, another chandelier up there above Jenny V's head. Oh, there's a little polar bear. There's another little teddy. Apparently there are toys literally everywhere around her, so just in case you're looking out for them. It's Tigger. <laughs> oh, bless him. That fireplace is absolutely huge, it's lush. Look at that. There we are, so there's the first main room, the living room, which leads into, I believe that, actually that might be the living room where Jen Evie is, and this might have been a diner. Yeah, maybe this was a dining room then, because. Yeah, more than likely. There's another teddy in the corner. Oh, 
Look at all this furniture. It's like a jungle. Wow. And this is this is vintage. Is that a record player over the back? That is. No way. Oh wow. That is very old. God, it even comes in like a proper casing and everything. Yeah. And even the curtains as well, the, the uh, design. You don't see that sort of thing these days. No. There's more modern versions where it's like the sort of net, the yeah. kind of thin netting, but not like that. Look, a bridal knife. So when you cut your first bit of wedding cake. That is beautiful. Oh. That is a really old vinyl one, isn't it? Yeah. It's the tape player and stuff in it, the mix of it. It's crazy. Even the cabinets as well. Everything's really dated. So obviously this was abandoned in 2015. So you've only got to wonder how long uh, they've had all this stuff prior to that. This could be from like the 90s, 80s. You just don't know really. So yeah, it's probably fair to say this is the living room. Yeah, yeah. And the one we've just been in was the diner then. I'd say so, yeah. But it's a, it's a shame this is boarded up. I'd like to have seen the view actually because it's obviously the back yeah, it would have been nice. garden. I'll obviously walk around that way after yeah. I finish inside. But... Yeah, that is old. Good fact that you can't, can't actually tell. I think it's a light at the top, like it could be a fake thing. Yeah, I think it's a fake candle. Yeah. yeah. But still, that's quite unique. And look at even that. You never know. That could be gold leaf. That could be like proper, like China. You just don't know. Yeah, it could be. It does look it, actually. It's just marble. Marble? No, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's like a soapstone or something. All right, guys. And also in the, uh, the main diner, there is a massive safe absolutely huge and i don't think it's going to open no there's no chance of opening look at the size of that there's a key did you see that on the top oh, I didn't know. there's a key on the top of it look yeah, really? yeah. wow is it gonna work i don't know is, is there a key, is for, this a key for that yeah there's a key at the bottom but it's not like that it's a different yeah no it's a different it's a different head no it's not the right one maybe that's for the front door then it could be yeah wow i'll leave that back up there guys oh that's really cool Right, so just on the uh, the main diner, and this is the other side of the living room. So we were just stood literally over there. Yeah, again, loads of little bits and pieces, loads of DVDs. Oh, 101 Dalmatians! I love that. Little uh, Harry Potter closet. <laughs> right, so I'm heading down the corridor to the the kitchen. I believe it is. Yeah, bang on. There we are. And yet again, it's fully stocked. There's so much. There's a kettle, frying pans, cups, paperwork. Yeah, again, more toys in that uh, that drawer. And whoa, look at the roof. The whole roof has fallen down onto the kitchen table. Because obviously the, the fire would have um, obviously done this, but the actual main support beam has completely had it. So if I go upstairs, I'm gonna have to be super careful. Another little toy, got a um, little snowman. And I'm gonna nip around here, but I'm gonna be careful because if that ceiling goes, I will probably die. There we are, got a hood for um, your hobs. And like, even the cutlery's been left. Every, it's like they've literally just haven't even come back for anything. Slow cooker, is that a slow cooker? Yeah, it is, oh, no way. Oh my God, look at the eggs. Look, that they are eggs. And all of these bugs, I can't work out what they are, but they're all dead. Oh no. Okay, I've never found that sort of thing in one of these places. And we've got the ketchup bottle, which doesn't look too bad. But obviously you can see, yeah. Uh, oh, look, even the food. Yeah, there's even food left in the cupboard. Got mustard on the left, roast beef, gravy. Whoa. You've got to feel sorry for these sort of people, you know. I don't think this was an arson. I, I don't know. I can't be 100% sure. Um, but obviously there was a fire, so... It could be quite heartbreaking for some people to come back to this and sort of see how the house is. So maybe that's why they've left it. Just because it was too painful to come back and sort of see it. What have you found? Oh, cute. Oh, wow. Cute little... Oh, a little wicker table. Oh, nice. It's taking a while to make, isn't it? Yeah. That cabinet as well. It's got loads of articles in it. Maybe they collected them, like the farmer's magazines. Yeah, there's a farmer's magazine there. Yeah. Is there a date on it? Uh, May... 2000... May 2014. Yeah. Oh, no way. Nice one. Yeah, I was just saying to the viewers, I think that maybe this was too painful to come back because I don't think this was arson. I think this was um, just, fire. yeah, yeah. And they felt that they couldn't come back here because yeah. of the damage and the cost maybe. Definitely, it's probably too like hurtful to see it like this way. So 
yeah, I think that's why they haven't collected anything. And to be honest, if you'd have gone back to 2015, half of this could have been safe. Like that sofa, for example, it's only dirty. Yeah. So that could have been something they would have they could have taken and saved with them. But I just maybe think it's too yeah too painful to come back. Yeah. That's really pretty as well. A little um, is it one of those fake fires, isn't it? I think it is. Yeah, there's a lead going along the back. Yeah, a little electric. electric ones, yeah. Yeah. There's loads of food in the uh, kitchen as well, in the cabinets. Is there? Yeah. Look, wait till you see the eggs. You're gonna be sick. Right then, just beside the kitchen, there's like a uh, utility room. I'm, just, I'm thinking. Got a chair. Look, look, loads of little toys again. And then, oh my god, there's glass everywhere. Whoa. Oh God, sorry. And then, oh, okay. Another dining room, kitchen maybe? That's kind of odd, okay. And then, oh wow, there's the back of the, <gasps> guys, 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 yeah. there's a swimming pool. There's a swimming pool. No friggin' way. Yeah, there's a swimming pool. <laughs> Look, and the garden at the back. Can you see it just at the back there? Oh, no way. And there's a diving board. There's even a diving board. Look out there. Can you see it? Oh, wow. I can see that. Oh, no way. Wow. That's cool. That door opens. Does it? Yeah. It does. Spot. <laughs> get out. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. good, good spot, <gasps> that is awesome. Oh, wow. Oh my god! How amazing is that? I wouldn't jump in there, granted, but look! I love the way that you've got the nice little steps. Even like the mosaic sort of... Yeah. Are you going to go for a little dip? I'm going to go for a dive now. <laughs> you try your mankini on. <laughs> look at the diving board. Quite deep. Yeah, I actually think that's probably about three or four metres deep. Yeah. But like the side... Oh, look at the house in the back as well. Oh, wow. my god. Okay, I slightly underestimated this place. I thought it was a lot smaller than were what it looked from the front, but. I thought it would be smaller. Just yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, it must be deep enough because there's a diving board at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, it actually could even be deeper than what I'm saying. Could even be, yeah. It could be deeper. That is so cool. Look at the size of it. It's so big, I can't even fit it in my frame. Yeah, you could I have an entire pool party, like up. all of this. I bet they cut back at some point and had like a big pool party. And yeah. oh, that's amazing. <laughs> See, it's a place like this, I don't understand why they're abandoned. Well, I do obviously for this particular building because of the fire, but this is something that I'd like to say you could uh, obviously develop it and uh, redo it, but it's probably going to cost more money than what it's worth, sort of thing. So, oh my god, A, you should be careful. Don't fall in, don't fall in because your camera. <laughs> It is. Look at the size of it. You're very trusting. No, no, it's really wobbling. If he falls, oh no, he's holding my flashlight. <laughs> He'll be fine. It's just the cameras we're worried about. <laughs> right, so that was the back garden, guys. I'm going to quickly nip back in and go back to the uh, the room I was in. I am thinking it's another kitchen. It has to be, like, because of all the tiles. And there's a lawnmower there. There we are. Load of Foster's cans. Damn. Right, so we're going back into the uh, the kitchen. There we are. There's all your mains. Mains board there. Oh, that Hoover is so old. That's the old version there. Dyson, is it? Di yeah, it is a Dyson. Oh, no yes. Wow. Maybe it's not a kitchen. Maybe this was actually a utility room, the whole thing. There's an iron and like a table and workman's jacket. Washing machine? Probably more than likely it was a utility room. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is obviously maybe the, the front. Sink What's this thing? Is this yeah. thing the front door, isn't it? Yeah, that's the other one. Maybe these properties so, were split up. Maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Maybe there were two different properties. More than likely. Isn't because there's two, two front doors. Yeah, why is it two front stairs. doors? Two, yeah, two stairs. Two kitchens. Because obviously this is the part to go upstairs, isn't it? Yeah. In one bit. This yeah. Is their front room. Yeah, this is probably two properties then. Because the driveway is big enough to do two properties. Yeah. Yeah, guys, there's the staircase. We're not going to attempt that set. We're going to do the other set because you can see there's actually holes yeah. right through it. So. Oh, what's this? Oh! Great temperature. 
Oh my. Hey. Lights burner. That's weird. How do you pronounce that? Dal Dalby? Hmm. Dalby? Yeah. Dalby. Do you know, I don't know. This booth, booth pressure. pressure. This is for your lights. Yeah. There's a gauge there, there's gauges here. This is for the spray temperature, which doesn't make sense. Do you know, I don't have a clue actually. And then no. bake temperature. Hmm. I don't get that. No, neither That's I. bake time. You think it's something to do with a cooker or and lights? Yeah. Maybe. Wouldn't you? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Like, even the walls. Look at the walls where the. Uh, Oh, you can't really see it on the yeah. camera, but you can... Well, actually, just about can, how wavy it's got. Because, obviously, water damage, some, like, yeah. you know, it's yeah, got it's wood, uh, uh, wood rot. Bowed out, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's God, swelled. Look how many lights there are on the light switch. <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't see that. Oh, hot damn. Wow. Oh, it's like a toy house. Look. It's Mario. Mario. There's a little baby. Hello. Did I really just say hello to a tiny toy? <laughs> There's another baby. There's lots of eyes looking at me right now. Mickey Mouse over there. Another little baby. Oh, there's quite... Oh, <laughs> I'm in my element. Look, guys. That's crazy. There's like a cow at the back. Got, um... Oh, who's that again? Guys, who's Tigger's best friend? It's Piglet, isn't it? Piglet? Yeah, we've got a Piglet here. Oh, my God. Look at all these toys. Hungry hippos. That game was lit. Wow. Yeah. I didn't even see the piano. <laughs> I walked straight past it. Whoa. No, that modern light doesn't work. That's beautiful. Even though, yeah. This is really cool. So it's, it's basically a time capsule, really. Like, you know, these people have just basically upped and left, obviously. Whoa, it's one of those uh, those um fruit machines. Look, it's got the number thingy in it. Oh, God. And there's one over there as well. Oh, look at all these toys just left. Winnie the Pooh again. Yeah, it's a huge snooker table. Fifi and the flower tots there. Oh. An Xbox? Yeah, an Xbox. Old Xbox. No way. Yeah, it's <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Do you know, I think it's quite sad, though, how one day, you know, long ago, this was a little girl's kind of... It was her pride and joy, all these little toys, and they just left her now. Yeah. And she's got to be how old now? God. Uh, it's five... How many years on is that? 2015, that's so bad. Five years on, yeah? Yeah. So, it's all just left behind. It's just all their toys and plans and yeah. Barbie stuff left, isn't it? Yeah, Peppa Pig here. Being young children. Yeah. Whether or not it's one or a few, I don't know. Yeah, we've got brat dolls here. I was obsessed with brat dolls when I was younger. I literally love them. Oh, I had this! I had this! No way! It's a little brat's laptop. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. God. Yeah, I had it last year, guys. Have but... you seen this? Grand Theft Auto Vice Cities on here for the PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, I've just seen some more Xbox games here. We've got um, The Incredibles. Yeah. Snowman. Oh, this is so amazing. Oh, look, it's one of those um steering wheels for the PS. No, it's the Xbox one, isn't it? Yeah, it's Xbox. Do you remember these when you used to play like yeah, a? Wheel, yeah. yeah. You play your old Forza or yeah, that's the one. Yeah, Forza, Forza. Some more racing games there. Yeah. I can't believe Yeah. Yeah, I said that to the viewers, so I just can't believe it. But yeah, again, it must have just been really painful for them to come back and just see it all like this. So they must have just left, yeah. you know? But And they were obviously obsessed with Winnie the Pooh because there is a lot of it around this house. There's another little... Oh. Oh, do you know, if it was in good condition, like, it would be so nice like a charity shop or something to have this because it's actually really nice little bits. It's just obviously it's been so many years now, it's just had it. There's Eeyore down there as well. Eeyore on the floor. Peppa Pig. Oh, it's my G. Oh, Peppa Pig. Yeah, Peppa Pig. Yeah, Peppa is my G. Is that Dora the Explorer? That can't be Dora the Explorer, is it? Um, I'm not I sure. Be. I think it actually is. Dora the Explorer. Dora explores with Kaylee. Woo! <laughs> High five, girl. <laughs> <laughs>
Hang on, let me get some HD on RG. There she is. We are exploring with Explorer the Dora. No, what's her name again? Exploring Dora. with Dora the Explorer. <laughs> exploring with Dora the Explorer. She's a bit dirty. Mm. Looks a bit like us, to be fair. <laughs> we, we look just as bad as her after a day of exploring. Bless her. <laughs> oh. Is this the light? Would yeah, it would have been up there. On the ceiling on that hook. Mm. Clearly fallen down. Yeah. Oh, these were one of those, um, what do you call them again? The little cards, you know, the red ones. Is that the, is that the roof of one of those? Or is, do you think that's just a playpen? I think it's just a playpen. Ah, okay. I think it could be because you've got the there little is. lights at the front. Yeah. The eyes Because there's a door to get in, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite sweet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little hot point washing machine. Oh. <laughs> that is everything. Oh, it even spins. Wow. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I remember the, the reason why this is so special to me is I actually got one for one of my birthdays when I was younger, and it literally brings back memories. Can you? Yeah. Even, I think you can even open the little tray, can't you? You had to put your detergent in. Oh, that's how us uh, women learn how to um, housekeep, thanks to our parents buying stuff like this. Amazing. <laughs> And then in the corner of the uh, the toy room, there's just another really nice old fashioned chair. But look at the detail as well. It's really pretty. Knocked up, such a good film. Oh, just hiding in the corner. Right, and I think we'll uh, start heading upstairs. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, they don't feel the most stable, do they? Oh, okay. Oh, look, the old packs of cigarettes. All right, so I've just gone up the stairs and they are super weak. Really, really vulnerable sort of stairs. And at the top of the stairway is the bridal knife. So for your cake, yet again. And it looks so fresh. It looks really out of place, to be honest. All right, these floors are going to be careful because that you know, you can't really see on camera. It's very spongy. So it's just taking caution. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, that cot. That is so precious. And look at even the wallpaper as well, it's so old designed, you know? Yeah. And oh, look at the vanity table. Whoa. There's an ensuite bathroom. So this was more than likely for the uh, the mother, maybe. Maybe she stayed in the same room as here. Maybe this is the master bedroom and the baby stayed with them or... And got, oh, yeah, there we are. You can see straight through to the lower ground. So just taking full caution. Woo woo, it's her again, yes. <laughs> They used a lot of toilet roll. Look at all that. Whoa. Nice chandelier on the floor. And another computer. Ooh. Fancy. Yeah, this is definitely the master bedroom, isn't it? Yeah, there we are. So the baby would have stayed with the uh, parents rather than this being the actual baby's room. There's their clothing just sat there. What would have been fresh white shirts. The, the, the wallpaper's held. It's really pretty. Look, another little storage cabinet on the side as well. So sad that it's all just been left behind, you know? And then just near Jen, there's another set of drawers. Beautiful. And that's a hip flask up there, I think. Yeah, hip flask on the table. Bit of foundation up on the windowsill. And there's the, the swimming pool from outside. Just gonna swing around this side. This is really sad, actually, how it's just been left. There's the driveway. So we entered just underneath here. There's a doorway and there's another doorway just in that porch bit under there. So I think this was two houses more than likely because the way it's been split up and it's such a big driveway. It might be just the one, but it doesn't feel like it, if that makes sense. Yeah, again, loads of uh, articles, newspapers, loads of DVDs. Peter Pan, ah, no way. King Kong. God, they have, they have good taste in films, I'll give them credit. Indiana Jones. Bugs Life, oh, cracking film. And I even like the little delicate pink coat hanger. Just sat there. And yeah, that's the view from the other side of the room. So the parents would have slept here. Baby over there in the corner. And just near my feet, there's a little baby's onesie. So yeah, it, it really has just been left. They might have taken some bits of them, but I've got a feeling actually they didn't. And youth could have, uh, stolen or taken from here because I did notice for example in the bathroom it's full of cigarette butts so that's more than likely uh people coming up here doing it obviously they don't want to smoke in their own home and stop out in the sink so 
yeah, it could have been even more kitted than this and people are just taking it. It's, just, it's hard to sort of um, predict really, but there's another staircase. I will go up that in a minute, but I'm gonna take caution. I'm gonna go down this side first. Where I'm standing right now, look. Yeah. Do not. Oh, wow, okay. Do not. Okay. And Was that the kitchen? Yeah, that's, that is oh, two no. bedrooms, I think. Yes, yeah, you can see the bed frames. Yeah, and they've fallen straight through. So the, the main blaze must have been this side then? Yeah. The back of the house. I'm going to get off this floor. And yeah. Be really careful All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to start. Oh, it doesn't feel safe. Look, even nature has taken its cause in here. Like there's plants growing in this house. There's the fire damage. And I... Aisha, did you go along this panel? Yeah. Okay. All right. There's another bathroom in here. Toilet over there, bath there. Obviously the tiles have suffered damage yet again. So is the uh, ceiling. I would go through here, but as you can see, there's a massive drop and I don't really fancy falling to, to the lower floor. But yeah, that was probably where the main blaze was. There's literally no roof on it. So more than likely that was where it was started. And actually there is a chimney. There is an open fireplace, which would have linked to that. So you never know that could have even been the cause of the fire. More than likely, actually, think about it. Oh, sorry, I'll let, I'll let you squeeze in. Yeah, there's another bedroom. The uh, metal frames. Actually, sorry, there's two beds. So a twin bedroom. And uh, clothing and stuff, workman's clothing. Mattresses. Oh, it's such a shame this place has suffered so badly. You know, as, a, as a Aisha was saying, this is really, really not the most stable building. Yeah, back to the knife room. Um, don't know if I trust these stairs. Oh, they feel alright. Oh, no, no. I took that back. Jen, I don't know if I trust these stairs, darling. Oh, they're, they're... I don't really rate these stairs. Yeah, they were on that corner. Oh, oh, this is tasty. Right, I think I might have found the, uh, the, the cause of the fire. There is a toaster and a microwave up here and an oven. And they are all burnt, like really burnt. So maybe that could have been the cause of the fire. Oh, look at the view. How pretty is that? It's absolutely stunning. I actually think that might have been it, you know? Oh, yeah, that floor panel don't like me. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to go any further because that floor panel is probably just about to go out on me. But yeah, in the back, I think the back left, that might be a TV or something. Yeah, look. So I think that might have been the main cause. I'm just having to guess, obviously. I don't I don't know adamantly if this was an arson or if this was obviously from devices. Yeah. So just a bit of guessing work, but I wouldn't walk on this bit of floor. Anything past that is very vulnerable. But from here, there's a, you can get a, look at this. Look at that shot. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. I'm really interested how this fire started. If anyone does know this location and does know the reason, please do comment below. I'm sure I'll find it. Um, on Google after I finish this video because I always do that history after which is a bit daft um, but no if you do know please comment it because yet again I might not find it so there we are guys that's the top of the uh, building and I think we'll head out to the uh, the other buildings now so Aisha's just gone into Harry Potter's closet and he's he's found a football yay oh oh skills <laughs> yes oh he's got one off on me <laughs> Oh, good on you. All right, guys, so back outside the front of the house, there's the cars, and I am holding, oh my God, if I can get it out of my hands. Oh, look at that. It's a crossbow. It's pretty cool. I think it's fake. It feels very fake. But yeah, there's a crossbow on the driveway. Literally just sat there and we walked straight past it. So yeah. Right, and we've just arrived at the uh, second little build. So our first one was over there, the fire mansion. And this is the one on the side of it. So there's quite a lot abandoned around this bit. Right, so here's the outbuild. Not really a great deal. Little cooker in the corner. Oh, there's a tiny umbrella. That's adorable. I live for that. Uh, yeah, no, I think I think this is probably going to be pretty empty. Um, more than likely because the house is so full. But there's still bits. There's like bleachers, shoes, sink basin, obviously completely smashed. That was where the shower would have been and then maybe the main living room. And yeah, again, there's loads of little girls' toys. It's a little pram, coloring bits, 
books and there's like a little um kid sewing machine thingy down there oh look at the wallpaper oh, that's fun wow i actually think i had that in my bedroom at one point i'm adamant i did oh my god right it's so in the main uh wow in the main corridor there's a lot of stuff there's so many books more kids toys oh look at that bedroom that's stunning wow big old wardrobe loads of stuff in there oh that's so pretty you can't really see that one on camera oh it smells yeah it smells really rough in here there's another one of those little uh, vanity mirror kind of things in the chest oh look at all of our little bits everywhere dvds coloring pads laundry basket in the corner just dumped down there it's crazy how these kind of places go abandoned really it's got a lot of potential got another room in here oh sh maybe jump <laughs> i was just looking at the dvd player not too many bits in here there's no clothes behind here and stuff yeah i mean this is quite a good condition considering yeah it is actually yeah this is probably five years as well five years abandoned very much looks like it there's your uh that's near the mansions. There's actual functional mansions now. Is that another abandoned building? No, hang on, that can't be, surely. Surely that can't be another one. I think there is. Bloody hell, it is. It is. Oh, wow. Is that our fire mansion? Is that the one we've just done? That is, I think, the one we've just done. Yeah, yeah. that's the one we've just done. And we're and in one now, this. and there's another one. Oh further my God. up that tire path. Yeah. And I'm sure there's another two that side, which is where we came in. More than likely. There's a smashed light. God, it's like an abandoned city. So I'll keep this one short and sweet then, and this one, guys, because this is basically it. So, and then I think, right, check. And then this is the conservatory. And there's not really much in this little outbuild. So I'm gonna save a, save a memory for the next couple ones. And yeah, let's, uh, let's go over to the next outbuild. Right, so just as I was leaving, Aisha's called me back because he's found some magazines with 2016 and 2017 dates of them. So we definitely know the fire building, which is over that side, is 2015. So it was September the 19th, 2015, it was burnt down. But this one suggests it was like 2017. So it's a bit odd, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go to the next building now. I will see you once I'm over there. Right, I've decided to put the GoPro on because I can hear voices. So I just want to, uh, if I do get caught, I want it on my GoPro. So I'm putting the, the iPhone 11 Pro, putting that away just in case they uh, decide to do anything. But yeah, there were some voices out there. But... And then, yeah, there's another building up there. Oh, hang on. There's one on the right as well. Oh my God, there's so many buildings this way. This is probably one of the coolest sites I've found in the sense that, yeah, there's not absolutely tons, but there's just so many buildings. And I've taken Jen with me. Hi. Uh, and Aisha's just back in the other lodge so we can do a little bit of it. There's literally another one there, and there's another one there, yeah. and another one behind the lodge. I don't know if there's gonna be much in here, but we'll soon find out. Right, there's the, uh, the third building. I've got a feeling this could be a quick one because it's pretty empty. But look, look at that graffiti. Oh, wow. I don't promote graffiti, as you know, but it is pretty good. There is a difference between art and just point blank crap. So there we are. Good job, guys. So, yeah, here's the, uh, the main hall bit. Front door. Oh, I don't feel alone in here. Probably because it's getting so dark. Yeah, what you guys don't realise, as I'm currently filming, it's about, it's just coming up for seven o'clock in the evening and it's winter, it's freezing, and it's starting to get dark. So yeah, I'm trying to hurry up a wee bit so I can get this all filmed in the daylight. Uh, there we are, there's a little kitchen. I think that's a conservatory, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Please beware. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so there's that. What does it say? Forensic systems and use. Forensic systems, yeah. What does it mean by that? Hmm, okay. Don't touch anything. It's our fingerprints. Then again though, people have tagged all over this place, so it's, it's not gonna be for people like us. It's gonna be for people that aggravate trespassing and that. So yeah, there's a bathroom. Graffitied all over again. A big Big empty room. So this is a bit like the band in a bungalow, isn't it? Yeah, it is a bit. Same sort of style with that same sort of colour of carpet. And I'm just gonna drop my flashlight because if you look here, that's a brand new house that's been developed and I don't know if people are living in that. 
So I'm gonna keep away from that window. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. And I think that is all of this outbuild. Short but sweet, I thought I knew. Yeah, I thought it'd be anyway, pretty quiet in this one. Let's head to the fourth one. Right, the wind's really starting to pick up now. Oh dear. Oh God. <laughs> oh, we're getting through some uh, nice forestry. You're right. Oh, it's the, oh, I think it's just a garage. Or maybe it links. There was one. There was one at the back of it. We keep walking around. There was definitely another one. Yeah, that is just a garage. That is nothing special. I what swear there was another. Oh my god, that made me jump as a pigeon. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. That made me jump. Um, I don't know really. Don't so have to get to it. Yeah, yeah, and there was one at the back of the house we were just at, and I think it's that one over there. Let me get to it. If we walk back. Yeah, let's walk back round and we'll go and have a look. Right, guys. So the wind is really starting to pick up now. You can probably hear it. First house in those bushes, second one there, third one just there, fourth one was a little garage in there and it's nothing special. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna trek up this last bit of the road up there. And uh, if there's a building there is, and if there isn't, then that was the, uh, the video. Right, we've just found the fourth one. I think it's the fourth. Yes. Fourth or fifth, something like that. Oh dear. Oh, look at this. It's like fully kitted again. Oh, uh, look, all the pet food. There's a lot, there's a lot of dog food actually, wow. Yeah, CO2. Yeah, CO2. Yeah. There's loads of paperwork. This might have been his little work oh, project. Oh, that's really odd. Right, so it's completely and utterly empty, but with the fencing inside the building. Definitely. Oh, wow, yeah. Dog bed, all the dog food. Loads of cans of food, yeah. That's really, oh, no way. No flipping way is that a black butterfly. It is as well. No, this has to stop. I need to start writing statuses about this. That is really strange. Right, ever since we spoke about this black butterfly thing, it's been in every single building. Yeah. One. Yeah. This is an omen, guys. I hope you know this. It is, yeah. I just don't understand why it's the fencing's inside the building. I've never seen that ever. Oh, oh, it's the wind. <laughs> but no one could physically lift that without... Look, if you look at the size of the door and look at the size of the fence, how did it even get in here? Yeah. Yeah, but more to the point, more what I'm saying is how on earth did they fit that frame? Look at the size of it. You can't fold it in half and it can't fit for that door. Really odd. And Jen's found a saw. That, that is strange because like you say, it's not even higher. Yeah, that's what... Yeah. The yeah, that's what I'm saying. How how did it even get in here in the first place? I mean, it is bendy. No, but, but they the yeah. Still yeah. No, no. No, no chance. No chance. I don't understand that. October 20, 2017. What are you filming? A dead bird. A, wow, wow. <laughs> She's Hello, filming yeah. a dead bird. Hello, oh, look. Oh, wow. That is quite. That's quite cool. I, I do like the bones and skulls. I do kind of like that Hello. stuff. Don't press. No, you haven't. Seriously. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's on the wall. Is it even like a breeding season for them or something? No, there's another two up there. No. Is, is this like a common thing or? Because ever since we said about that bloody black butterfly and that pool mansion and it being an omen, we are seeing them everywhere. So. May, do you think this is like an abandoned building thing then? Do you think they nest there? Now I'm gonna Google the black butterfly thing and try and get some answers. Or it might just be genuinely us. Maybe we're... Maybe we've yeah, maybe we've brought something back from somewhere, like an omen. <laughs> God knows. But right, there we are guys. And I think that was pretty much this place explored. guys that was Broadwater Mansion thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel all of these guys links be down below so please go and check them out if you haven't already turn on that bell thank you so much for watching stay tuned and I'll catch you shortly bye